emergency happen at 902. Hi, I need to speak to a dispatch supervisor, please. One moment, please. God grant me the serenity. Jesus fucking Christ. God grant me the serenity. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. God grant me serenity. One moment, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Fuck, I heard it everywhere. Oh, I heard it everywhere. Uh, uh, uh. Valley Dispatch Supervisor Bridge, Senior Piazza Brown. Hi, uh, have we spoken right, before? This is Kurt Kelly. I believe we have. This is over the Venice Beach issue. Uh, yeah, a uh, new problem arose. Um, I just got my phones recharged, and I tried to call in and report it, and the person who picked up the call just decided to hand me to a non-emergency line, not realizing this is a viral crime in motion. Um, a guy who comes down here a lot from Santa Monica, a gangster by the name of Carlos, probably about 29 to 35, um, Hispanic, uh, dark complected, shaved head, not completely shaved, dark hair, but shaved tight with tats. I uh, came down in a white t-shirt last night uh, and robbed m myself and a Russian Im immigrant friend who works with a KGB, so not a real bright motherfucker, because she'll probably kill him when she finds him. Um, robbed her of a lot of jewelry, her iPad, uh, and other personal items of hers, him and his girlfriend, they just reached over uh, the poles where we were uh, sitting where she was giving me a, a therapeutic massage because I had 15 hit and runs to the point I can hardly walk. And um, and so she took off after him about 2, 2.15 2 in the morning. I've just gotten phones charged, and I'm at the place at the pier where I was robbed, but I'm headed up towards Santa Monica because I know where this jackass tries to fence stuff to try and recover about two grand in stolen property he took from me between uh, pharmaceutical marijuana, government-encrypted um, UN NGO phones uh, with high-level intel on them, and a bunch of other stuff. So I've got to try and recover this stuff. But um, can you also alert Santa Monica PD because he's one of their resident pieces of shit and they should or or if you want to hand me off but they should pick him up and intercept him before I get there but if they don't if it comes to push and shove he's probably going to be in a body bag I want my shit back I'm not playing anymore he's already cost me over 10 grand this this quarter alone no this has got to stop and you guys can't seem to pick him up so I'm giving you a clue if he comes back here you should pick him up but you might also dispatch Santa Monica and let him know that Kurt's coming through in 30 minutes and I have a federal clearance and if they even think they're going to fuck with me I'll drag their ass into federal court I am not fucking around here I want this motherfucker in custody pardon do you know where Carlos is right now? He normally hangs up by Shutter's bathroom or by Perry's Bicknell up there where he's fencing stolen property that he grabs and sit down here um, all night long. And he came down with some bitch new girl um, who's either from Hollywood doing a lot of gangster robberies or I've seen her down here in Venice before. But she is a face who has robbed me in the past also. And, and they came and robbed us both last night. The Russian girl, um, Raya... Henry, who lives at 1447, I think it's unit 512, in Santa Monica at Broadway, left about two or three hours ago. No, she left at about 2.30 in the morning. She's short, petite, uh, I think about 5'9", probably 125 to 130 pounds, dark hair. She's out looking for him, and she's fucking pissed because he stole Russian family jewels and stuff. She wants his head. So she may find them before the police do.
that you said that Carlos usually hangs out. To, yeah, I'll play shutters. Either of those places? I haven't gone okay. there yet. I, I'm still down yeah. in Venice. I, I've just got my bike loaded up with all my stuff, and my phones wow. are charged up so I can videotape whatever's going to happen. But and I'll bring some people with me because I'm not going to go get my ass kicked. But I sure as fuck know he's normally hanging by that second bathroom south of the Santa Monica Pier where you guys have had some undercovers working um, because he's coming down here and grabbing stuff literally every day, seven days a week. Okay, he's now, he's now, fencing now, like, now yeah. Now here's, now here's the really important question. Yes. Have you made the report of the theft yet? No, I, this oh. is the first time I've been able to make contact oh. with you guys. I tried okay. to do it and dispatch, hand me off to a, a hearing impaired line or something, and that's why I called right back to ask for you okay. so I could and get a report actually, filed. What, actually, what they were doing was they were giving you to a police operator so the police operator could get you over to the station. Oh, I see. So that, that's because that's the very first thing that needs to happen. Because we need to have a. Uh, well, a I could I could meet somebody file. up at the uh, at the uh, Venice. Uh, uh, police station here on the beach at the substation. If you can get somebody up there in like the next five or ten minutes, I'll ride my bike up there. I have on blue pants and a black top. And if it's anybody who normally works at the beach, they know me anyway. Um, but but I, I'm 60, uh, six foot tall, probably about 175 pounds, and moving slow because I'm really fucking injured. A basket on the front. Is, I am, I'm riding a Nishiki, N I S H I K I, blue and white Japanese race bike with a rack on the back and a basket on the front. But I'm pissed. Okay. This motherfucker took phones, video chips. He grabbed a bag that had a lot of shit in it. And it okay, mm -hmm. I, I actually don't know if the substation is manned right now or not. Uh, they do have units actually... out on the beach because they did a shift change about an hour ago. So somebody okay. should be able to get them out there. Can you check over at the station and have someone meet me there or call me back on the circuit? I'm not sure.